Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of Throwback Thursday, and tonight we're going to be opening not just one, but two boxes of 1983 Donruss. And we'll be looking for the big three rookie cards in here, Tony Gwynn, Ryan Sandberg, and Wade Boggs. There's also a couple other rookies mixed in here and there, but um, if we find them, we'll point those out, like Frank Viola and Julio Franco and um, Howard Johnson uh, and so on, Willie McGee. So let's get to uh, get right to it here. This is what the box looks like. You can see Donruss used to do these wider boxes, and instead of doing four stacks of nine packs they did six stacks of six packs still equals out to 36. Uh, the box was just a little thinner and wider they did this in 82 and also 83 before going back to the more traditional shaped box in 1984. you can see ty cobb is featured on the puzzle in 1983 and also um, i guess the chase card back then now everyone's looking for autographs and so on chase card back then for don russell was looking for that chicken card the elusive San Diego chicken card. Here's what the bottom of the box looks like. You can see it's authenticated by the baseball card exchange. In fact, both of them are. There's the other bottom. Um, so we'll be cracking these open. Baseball card exchange owner Steve Hart authenticates these and uh, verifies that they have not been tampered with um, and the packs have never been searched. So without further ado, we'll put this second box off to the side for later. Do that the second half of the video. And first box, here we go. Um, we have some sponsors. The first packs that I pull out of here uh, from the top left in box one, that's going to Darren C. Darren C of Comfort Cards. Uh, thank you very much for your support. Let's crack this open and see what we can find. Here's your first look at the packs. You can see 1983, they're nice and blue, kind of like that. Um, here is a look at the design closer look you can see that it says you get 15 cards and three puzzle pieces those three puzzle pieces are on one card really and uh, 65 of those puzzle pieces make up the um, Ty Cobb puzzle also the uh, chicken was a big thing they're even doing t-shirts big thing back then um, pretty cool I don't know if any of you guys ever sent away for that chicken t-shirt for 650 but if you did, I guess that would be a nice collector's item to have right now. So we're going to pull Darren's packs out. He has the top left. So these six packs are for Darren C. Good luck, Darren. Let's get right into this. All right, here is your first look at the design. You can see there's a Larry Sorensen on the front. Um, 83 Donruss has like a baseball bat at the bottom with a glove. Kind of uh, cool, I guess. There's the Nico Brothers. Phil and Joe, Bill Buckner, recently passed on, rest in peace, Dave McKay. Howard Johnson, that's a Howard Johnson rookie card. He had a lot of good seasons, um, especially with the Mets. Johnny Bench, Diamond Kings. The first 26 cards of this set are all Diamond Kings. And there's that San Diego chicken card, the elusive San Diego chicken card um, in the first pack. So we got that one out of the way early, and there's what the back of it looks like. It talks all about the San Diego chicken. Uh, Mario Soto. And uh, that's it for that first pack. So not a bad first pack for Darren C. Let's uh, crack open pack number two and see what we can find. Uh, Marvis Foley. I've never even heard of these. that guy, at least. Al Oliver. Some of these guys I have not heard of because I was two years old when this set came out. Um, it's a nice Bill Matlock. Dale Murphy. A lot of you guys like him. That's probably like his fifth year card or so. His rookie card is 1977 tops. One of the best rookie cards in there, along with DeAndre Dawson. But one of these days I'd like to do a box break of 77 tops if I can ever find one that's affordable. Kent Herbeck, it's a second year Diamond King card. We found his rookie card last week in 82 tops. All right, going through here, we have some commons. Brian Downing was not too bad. Jesse Barfield from the Blue Jays. You guys might remember him, power hitter. His son, Josh Barfield, had a little bit of major league experience also. All right, next we have Pete Vukovic, also known as the villain from Major League One. I don't know if you guys were into those Major League movies, but uh, Pete Vukovic... 
was in Major League One as an actor. He was also a former pitching coach of the Buccos for a short time. I always preferred Major League Two over Major League One. I'm probably in the minority there, but um, that's just me. Richie Zisk, former Bucko, Jerry Royce, MVPs of the Giants. There's Frank Robinson there in the middle, along with Joe Morgan. Not too bad. Tommy Lasorda, Hall of Famer. Daryl Evans, decent player. Speaking of Joe Morgan, he was a Diamond King. Buddy Bell and Goose Gossage. That is a nice picture of the goose there. Goose, get off my lawn, Gossage. And uh, here's the last pack for Darren out of this box. Rick Roden, lots of good years. Um, Pascual Perez, Pete Rose, that's a nice one. Pete Rose with the Phillies. A lot of you guys are used to seeing him with the Reds, but he did play with the Phillies for a bit as well. And Claudel Washington. So none of the big three rookie cards out of that first stack for Darren. But um, Darren is going to be up again. He's got a spot in the second box as well. So fingers crossed for Darren. Next, we're going to move across the middle to the top middle. And these packs are going to Brian M. By the way, I sold all these on my Patreon page today. So if you'd like to get on, in on the breaks, you got to check out my Patreon page. That's where I usually sell everything. Willie Starge on Fernando Valenzuela at Diamond Kings. That's a nice Raleigh Fingers with the mustache. Nice handlebar mustache there. He's a Hall of Famer. Paul Malder, another Hall of Famer. And there he is, Tony Gwynn. What a pack. Lots of good cards in that pack. And um, Tony Gwynn just hanging out right there, right behind the Malder. Tony Gwynn rookie card. Um, this card, usually you can pick it up for between $10 and $20 ungraded, depending on its condition, of course. A PSA 10 of this card kind of varies wildly. Uh, if you look at the sold listings, it can go anywhere from like 90 some dollars all the way up to like $200 um, if it's a PSA 10. So get a quick uh, little glance at the card right out of the pack. Um, I'm not very good at grading, so I don't want to speculate if it would be a 10 or not. You guys can discuss that amongst yourselves. But the centering doesn't appear to be too bad. And uh, there's the back of the Tony Gwynn, Anthony Keith Gwynn. Brian M., congratulations on your Tony Gwynn rookie card. Uh, Tony Gwynn, definitely a legend. One of the uh, one of the best hitters of his generation, I would say. Um, he's a Hall of Famer, and um, really sad that he passed away way too young. Let me just get this card top loaded for you, and um, hopefully we'll find the Boggs and Sandberg. That would be pretty nice. Let's put in the sheet for now. Don't want to spend too much time opening my top loader pack. George Foster, Greg Nettles, Rick Manning, and Milt May round out that pack. So we got the Gwyn. There's still two other ones to look for. There is the Wade Boggs and Ryan Sandberg. And there's a couple other good rookies in this um, set. Jim Palmer is a Hall of Famer. There he is. John Wathen. Can't uh, have a box opening from the 80s without John Wathen popping up. And um, that's it for that one. Pack number two, box number three. All right, we have John Walkenfuss. Never heard of him. I'm sure some of you guys that are older than me probably recognize all of these names. I recognize some of them, guys that played in the late 80s and 90s, like Don Slott. The Buccos, Rafael Ramirez. Never heard of Britt Burns. Um, let's see, Mike Sosha, former manager for the Angels. Ron Say was pretty good. And Brian Downing. Next pack. By the way, the Ryan Sandberg, if it's graded out to a 10, usually goes anywhere also between $100 and $200. In fact, out of the probably like the top six or seven listings between the Sandberg, Gwynn, and Boggs, the Sandberg is valued at more uh, for a PSA 10, Brad Mills, bench coach of the Indians. And uh, Joe Nolan is the last one in that pack. All right, pack number five for Brian. We got uh, Diamond King there, Kevin Hickey, Frank White. He was always kind of like second to George Brett. George Brett got most of the uh, attention, at least from me, Buddy Bell. 
and Glenn Wilson. And Glenn Wilson played on the Phillies and Buckos as well. And last pack for Brian M. At least the last pack out of this stack because Brian M. has another spot coming up. Dwight Evans, Dave Rigetti, Rick Sutcliffe, some decent players right there. Rick Dempsey, um, Dusty Baker. I always think that the Nationals should have probably hung on the Dusty Baker instead of canning him. Um, hasn't gone so well for them in the two years since. All right, we're over to the top right right now. The top right is also owned by Brian M. So Brian M. got two spots right next to each other. He already got the Tony Gwynn. Let's see if he uh, can double his luck and also find the Sandberg. He starts off with a Carlton Fisk. By the way, here's the uh, puzzle piece. Um, there is a card in here of the puzzle piece already put together. It's kind of like a, it's just a regular card with a picture of the Ty Cobb puzzle. So if we pull that, we'll take a look at what that Ty Cobb puzzle looks like. I'm sure it looks pretty sweet. These are all done by Richard Perez, the artist. It's the Ty Cobb hat. He also is um, responsible for all the Diamond King artwork, Bob Welch, with a mustache. Whenever I saw Bob Welch. When I was younger, he never had that mustache. There's a checklist. I think there's like six or seven checklists. They're unnumbered, but there's 660 total cards in this set. And that was pretty much the standard for Don Ross for many years. I remember collecting in the uh, late 90s. There's Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. Always like his uh, his follow-through is pretty, uh, pretty nice. Always like Reggie Jackson cards. There's the back of that one again. Let's take a look at the back. This is the pretty standard back. That you see on lots of Don Russ cards. Um, pretty much the exact same format for every year that they do it. They have pretty much the same information on there. Probably made the uh, editor's job a lot easier whenever it came time to make these cards. Just add a new column. There's Ed Glenn. Must have forgot his hat or something. Bob Walk. He's a bucko announcer. Joe Torrey is a Hall of Famer. And Jim Cott. Almost a Hall of Famer, but not quite. Next pack for Bry. Brian M. We got Bob Horner on top. Gaylord Perry, old guy there, but he's a Hall of Famer. Used to uh, doctor those baseballs up. Lonnie Smith. Ken Griffey Sr., that's Junior's dad. Next pack. If we don't find the Sandberg or Boggs, don't worry, we have another box. That's what we're looking for, Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. It's a nice one. Joe Necro, Tug McGraw, um, another Ron Sane, Rigetti again. Final pack for Brian. Before we move on to that bottom row, we got Mike Moore off the top, Luis Tiant. Louis Tiant used to have a pretty crazy windup. Uh, Valenzuela and Kennedy, Terry Kennedy, Dave Smith, Paul, there it is again, Tony Gwynn, a second time, and it follows up the Molitor again, that's kind of what happens with a lot of these um, early 80s and late 70s releases and stuff, you can almost predict the card coming after it, um, because just the way they were put together and cut and everything, another Tony Gwynn rookie card, Brian M., congratulations on back-to-back -back Tony Gwynn rookies. Um, very, very nice. Let's take a look at this one. The centering, again, looks pretty decent. The corners are nice, fresh out of the pack. I don't know if you plan on getting these graded or not. I don't know what this stuff is right here. It looks like there's a little bit of discoloration right there. Um, but still, very nice to get a Tony Gwynn rookie card. I'm going to turn that one down. Let me get that sleeved up for you. So, Brian, nice job. You got two Tony Gwynns. A lot of people consider Gwynn to be the best rookie in the set. I'd say it's pretty much a toss-up between the Sandberg and the Gwynn. Boggs probably coming in third. A close third, though. They're all Hall of Famers. 83 was a nice year for rookies. And the rest of your pack, um, pretty much common. So, Brian M., nice job. By the way, Brian M. also got the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card last throwback Thursday in 82 top. So he is uh, 
Pretty lucky. May, might want to play the lottery there. Next up, we have the bottom left, and that's going to Jacob R. So, Jacob, let's see what we pull for you out of that bottom left stack. Maybe you'll get a Sandberg. We shall see. Ozzy Smith, that's the first time we've seen Ozzy. That's not the Boggs we want. Not Tommy Boggs. We want Wade Boggs, Tony Perez, Hall of Famer. Scrap Iron, Phil Garner, and Mike Kruko. So that's it for pack number one. Still have five more packs to go for Jacob. All right, here's our second pack. Got a Jerry Garvin off the top. Terry Francona, that's his second year card. You guys know Terry, manager of the Indians. Jim Palmer, second time we've seen him. Um, let's see who else is here. Maybe we'll see another Molitor. If we see another Paul Molitor, we know what's next. We know what's coming after that Paul Molitor. Should be a Tony Gwynn. Paul Molitor's like our indicator. Still Molitor Hall of Famer. Nice card to have. Willie McGee rookie card. It's valued at around a buck to two bucks, somewhere in there. Dale Murphy, Diamond Kings. Sparky Anderson. Hall of Fame legendary manager, Mookie Wilson. And that's all for that pack. Next up, pack number four of six. Still looking for the Sandberg. Lonnie Smith, Tony La Russa, another Hall of Famer, Fernando Valenzuela. What's that? Like his third year card, his rookie is 81. Rod Carew again. Still none of the uh, rookies that we're looking for. Be nice if every stack had at least one of those three in there. I mean, at least you got Willie McGee, Tim Wallach, Dave Steeb. Those are some good players back in the 80s. John Tudor, Bruce Benedict. There it is, Ryan Sandberg. Okay. Got another hit for you. Jacob R. Ryan Sandberg rookie card, the very last card in the pack. Anytime you get the last card in the pack, um, as you're hit, you always immediately think of what the heck does the back look like? Does it have wax on it? Is there any damage to the card? I can tell you there is some wax on the back. You cannot see it. Um, possibly if I turn it to the side, maybe you can see some residue there. Maybe not. I can feel the texture. It's just a little bit. It's not a lot. Um, any card grader would probably be able to uh, pick up on that, though. So if you uh, know a safe way to remove the wax, by all means... I've heard some people say they take some pantyhose and that'll take it right out, just kind of buff it out. But Ryan Sandberg rookie card going to Jacob R. Very nice card, like that card a lot. Ryan Sandberg, of course, Hall of Famer for the Cubs. A lot of Cubby fans love Sandberg. He was my favorite player for about a year back in, what was it, like 1991 or so? I think that was the year after he hit 40 home runs. And everybody was all about Ryan Sandberg. Steve Carlton, Lou Whitaker, those are two nice ones. Carlton's a Hall of Famer. So now we just need to find the, there's Wally Backman, legendary minor league manager for his tirades. Now we just need to find the Boggs, and we'll have hit all three. And then the second box, we can kind of just breeze through. This one, bottom middle, goes to Brian F. Thank you, Brian, for your support of this Throwback Thursday. All right, let's see who Brian gets. Bruce Suter. He's a Hall of Famer. And Phil Necro, another Hall of Famer. Carl Yastrzemski, so three Hall of Famers. They're not worth a ton of money, but still cool to get Hall of Famers. Those are usually probably valued around a quarter or so, quarter to 50 cents. If they're in really good condition, maybe some more. And all these are in really good conditions. condition as these cards... Um, I've been in this box for a long time. Willie Stargell, 1983, his final Don Russ card ever. You can see he's a little bit up there in age. He's a Hall of Famer. Eric Shaw. Of course, you guys probably know about him. And um, oh, he passed way too young as well. Our next pack, we got a... Checklist on the top, Frank Viola, that is his rookie card, and he doesn't have his mustache there. Usually, I'm used to seeing 
Frankie with a mustache. Vaughn Hayes. Joe Morgan. Never used to like Vaughn Hayes as a kid. I don't know why. Keith Hernandez, your 1979 co-MVP. That's right, co-MVP. He had to share it with um, Willie Stargell. They got the exact same vote total. So rather than flip a coin, they both just uh, both got to take home some hardware. Jim Rice is a Hall of Famer. Another one of those guys that when I was growing up, I never thought of Jim Rice as a Hall of Famer, kind of like Harold Baines. Never thought of Harold Baines as a Hall of Famer, but Jim Rice compiled the numbers and uh, had a very, very good career. It was good enough to eventually get him in there, so he's a Hall of Famer. You can't take that away from him. Alan Trammell, another Hall of Famer, another guy that I always considered a common growing up. I mean, he was a multiple-time All-Star, a great player and everything, but he just was never on the same level as uh, some of the stars of that era for me. And here is John Wath. And a lot of people like me to point out that John Wath and stole a bunch of bases. Uh, 36 steals in 1982, which is pretty insane for a catcher. 36 steals from a catcher. You don't really... I can't remember the last time we've ever seen that. 36 might be a record. I'm sure a lot of you Wathen fans will probably know that. I remember... I'm trying to think of the last speedy catcher I can even remember. Um, Jason Kendall was pretty fast when he first came up for the Buccos. All right, here's the last pack out of this middle stack for Brian. Reggie Jackson. My brother actually found this same card autographed. We weren't sure if the autograph was real or not because he got it for 50 cents. Um, kind of inconclusive, so he ended up just giving it away for free instead of selling it. And James S. is our final, final sponsor in box one. Let's see what James gets out of that bottom right stack here. See if we can find that Wade Boggs. Got another Vukovic. Buckner again. Howard Johnson rookie card for the second time. Tony Perez. It's kind of like a uh, repeat of one of the first packs we opened, except we get Ricky Henderson this time. We did not see that Ricky the first time around. That Henderson is a nice one. That's his, what would that be considered? His third year card, I guess. His rookie card is 1980 tops. We did a box of 1980 tops and we're not able to find the Ricky Henderson, disappointingly. So, I'm going to do another box of 1980 tops sometime in the future. I don't know when. But I will have my eye on the internet for whenever those boxes pop up. All right, here's our next, there's Ned Yost, next pack. Kurt Gibson. His rookie's 81, so young Kirk Gibson there, Willie Stargell, Billy Martin, legendary manager, also known for his tirades, and Johnny Ray, and there is Richard Perez, Richard Perez, the artist. I say Richard so I don't get any kind of chance of being demonetized by YouTube. They're pretty crazy with all of their sensors and stuff. You put like three seconds of a song in your video or whatever, and they demonetize you. They're always listening for stuff. All right, Alan Trammell for the second time. Steve Garvey, good player. Ron Guidry, very good player. And two packs left. Can we find the Boggs? We already found two Gwens and one Sandberg. I wanted to get two boxes because I wasn't sure if one box would yield all three of those rookies. There's Dennis Eckersley and... Of course, we get three John Wathen cards. Upside down cards, pretty weird. That always um, makes me suspicious whenever I see that in a pack. Like if I bought a pack like this at a card store, I would immediately assume that it was searched and the cards put back in and whoever searched it was just a moron and didn't realize that they put those cards in there upside down. But since this box is authenticated, I have to just assume that that is probably a sorting error at the factory especially because this has been a box that has been pretty full of hall of famers and two tony gwynn rookie cards and a ryan samberg rookie card out of that first box if we didn't have any of those at all i'd be pretty suspicious right now but the baseball card exchange is good at what they do they're good at spotting resealed packs and um yeah that's why i buy these all right we're on to box number two Box number two, we have some different sponsors and some same sponsors. We have Darren C. Getting the first stack again out of box number two. He's got the top left. So let's get his name over here. Top left. Let me just pull these out. 
Good luck to Darren. Now we've already seen a lot of the cards in the set, so the second round here I'll go a little faster and we'll just stop at the uh, big cards. Hopefully we find some rookie cards here. That would be pretty nice. First pack is um, not a lot to write home about. Dave Winfield, probably the best one in there. Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. I mentioned this once before. Dave Winfield was actually arrested once following a game in Toronto because he killed a seagull with a ball during warm-ups. Um, in between innings, the outfielders always play catch with each other. And um, one of Winfield's throws ended up hitting a seagull. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but apparently some of the authorities thought that it was, so they arrested him for animal cruelty, and the charges were later dropped and he was released. Johnny Bench, 1983 Don Russ, nice looking card there. His rookie card, 68. Picked up that card at a flea market for, I think I want to say I paid like 50 bucks for it. Always wanted that card as a kid, the 68 Johnny Bench. Buck Martinez, Phil Garner again. What the heck happened to this one? Looks like a printing error there, you can see. Um, I don't know what's going on with that one. Ozzy Smith, second time we've seen Oz. Tony Perez again, about the third time we've seen that Tony Perez card. All right, so Darren's got some Hall of Famers, but let's see if he can pull one of those rookies. See if the top left works out. Eddie Murray. First time seeing that Eddie Murray. Anytime we see uh, some cards for the first time, there's Charles Davis. You guys know Charles Davis, better known as Chili. Uh, very nice card there. Chili Davis, Dusty Baker, and Steve Carlton. So Darren's down to his last pack. Darren had some good luck in the Topps Finest break last night. He was able to pull a Todd Helton uh, autograph card, which is really sweet. And to check out this Nolan Ryan, if you believe Beckett prices, which most of you don't, that card books at like four bucks. But I would say you could probably buy it on eBay for about a buck or so. Some people like to have those ones graded, though. Tim Raines, another Hall of Famer. Andre Dawson, another Hall of Famer. So, no Wade Boggs in that pack. We're on the Wade Boggs hunt right now. We've already found one Sandberg, two Gwyns. Let's see if our next sponsor has any luck. Top middle, box number two, Michael F. Let's get right to it. All right, I see Don Sutton on the back. He's a Hall of Famer. We got Ernie Witt, Art Howe, Burt Bly Levin, another Hall of Famer. Bly Levin without the beard there. And there's that Don Sutton card. So no rookie card in that pack. I would like to find some more of those rookies, though. What are we, uh, here's another misprint. Greg Luzinski with a, uh, I don't know what the heck caused that. There's the Ty Cobb puzzle um, card. I mentioned this earlier. If you put all these puzzle pieces together, you get something that looks like this, except it's, all, it's larger. It's probably about about eight and a half by 11 or so about the size of a piece of paper it's pretty nice looking you go to the dollar store get a frame for that and um it would not be a bad thing to hang up especially if you're a tigers fan i know some people don't like ty cobb just because uh he was a pretty um hard-nosed player to put it nicely tom siever hall of famer but i'm sure a lot of people didn't like ty cobb in those playing days or probably long since gone Still a pretty cool looking puzzle though. Dennis Eckersley again for the second time. Then the fourth time, John Wathen for the fourth time. So we have more John Wathens than we do of the three rookie cards that we're looking for. We got three of those three rookies, two Gwyns, one Sandberg, and four John Wathens. Of course, that would happen. But that just seems to be the uh, luck with uh, these older Donruss boxes. I don't know how many John Wathens I pulled out of 1981 Don Ross. Out of one box, it was probably at least 25 or more. So at least this isn't like that 81 Don Ross box where every single card was either a Yankees or a Royals card. That was awful. Next pack. Paul. Hey, look at this. You know who's next. Tony Gwynn rookie card. Saw the Paul Mahler. Michael F. hits the Tony Gwynn rookie card in the top middle so tony gwynn has come out of the top middle twice 
So maybe he's in that top right also. Tony Gwynn for the third time. You can check out the center. We won't spend too much time on this Tony Gwynn because we've already seen this card um, several times. When I first saw the Tony Gwynn, I was wondering about that little speck near his nose, but every single card has had that speck, so it's likely um, in the background of the picture. It's not a printing defect. I'm sure somebody will ask about that. It's been on all three of our Tony Gwynn rookie cards. So Tony Gwynn, congratulations. Michael F. Let's see if we can find one more rookie card for you. And um, we're ready to look through those. We got one more pack left for Michael F. All right, let's see. We have a bunch of pretty much all commons. Del Murphy's pretty good, but he's the only one. Not a Hall of Famer, but still decent. A lot of people love Dale Murphy. All right, top right, moving on. So the first box had a Gwyn in the top middle and also the top right. Let's see if Spencer has the same luck as the folks in the first box. Top right, here you go. If we see the Molitor, we know he's coming to Tony Gwynn. I'm still hoping we find the Wade Boggs. I'm kind of stink to go through two boxes without being able to show you the Boggs rookie, Jim Rice. Um, maybe we'll find another Sandberg as well. So the count right now is four to four for the uh, top three rookies and four Waffens. Who's going to win? I would rather find more rookie cards, obviously, for you guys. Cal Ripken Jr., that's the first time we've seen that card. That's a good sign. Cal Ripken. Harold Baines, first time we've seen that one also. That's Ripken's second year card. Harold Baines' third year card. Maybe Wade Ball. Oh, look at this! Tony Gwynn rookie again. So it does come out of the exact same spot. You can see that little speck near his nose again. Four Tony Gwynn rookie cards. Count them four times. Congratulations, Spencer. That top right seems to be a good spot for 83 Don Russ. Top middle and top right, guys. I don't know if every box is going to be like that. But uh, another Tony Gwynn rookie card. That's our fourth one. So Tony Gwynn is caught up to Waffen. Let's see what we have in the rest of the pack. Just some comments, but that, um, that Ricky Henderson's not really a common. Diamond King, that's a pretty nice one. I like Ricky Henderson cards. Never really personally collected him, but I love that 80 Tops rookie card. I always buy that one whenever I see it. I probably have like two or three of it now. Um, all right. Next pack from the top right. Nothing really crazy going on there for Spencer. Next pack. Whoops. The wax was sticking to that back card. Did not want to give up the last card there. We've got a Brett Butler, Vance Law, Steve Rogers, another Valenzuela, Mel Hall, and no rookie card there. Next pack, Cal Ripken again, Harold Baines again, Willie Stargell, Steve Sachs. I was hoping I was going to see another Molitor. And this is the last pack for Spencer. Let's see what we can pull for you. Bill Buckner. This is kind of like a repeat of that very first pack we opened, I think. A um, bunch of comments. So Spencer, nice job with the Tony Gwynn rookie card. And moving on to that bottom row now. Bottom left is for Brian M. So, Brian, let's see if we can... Uh, Get you another Tony Gwynn rookie card. Brian's already had some great luck. Let's see if the great luck continues. Don Slot. Um, nothing really in that pack that's notable. Next pack we have Pete Vukovic on the top. Kevin Hickey. Pack number three. MVP card again, Tommy Lasorda. We've already seen a lot of these, just desperately searching for Wade Boggs. Goose Gossage again was at the back there. Next pack. I don't think we've seen that Richard Davis yet, so there might be... Some other new cards we haven't seen yet. Pete Rose for the second time. Um, nope, no bogs. 
I wouldn't mind finding another Sandberg too. So this box produced two Gwyns. I'm trying to think where the Sandberg came out of the last box. See if it's similar. Howard Johnson rookie. Johnny Bench 83. San Diego Chicken. It's been a while since we've seen that card. That card was, uh, I think, in the very first pack that we opened tonight in box number one. Here's the bottom left, bottom pack for Brian. Bruce Suter. And Carl Yastrzemski, no Wade Boggs. That takes us down to the bottom middle. Only a grand total of 12 packs left tonight. Michael F., you're up. Let's see what you find. And away with five John Wathen cards tonight. Four Tony Gwynns. Looks like John Wathen will be the most notable card, or not notable, but most prevalent card that we find as he keeps appearing five times for him. But four Tony Gwynns. I'll take four Gwynns. Disappointed we didn't find more Wade Boggs. There's Jack Morris. Diamond Kings card. So, next pack. Don Sutton. Another checklist. Dave Parker. A lot of people like the Cobra. He was a good player back in his day. Probably just short of the Hall of Fame. He put up some good numbers over the course of his career. Dave Parker. Maybe a couple more good years and he would have definitely been in. Whitey Herzog, Hall of Famer. This one is Ricky Henderson. I was going to say it's all commons, but then Ricky appears. That's a nice one. I've seen that one, I think, at least once before. And next pack, Bill Buckner, Diamond King. And um, there's a card hiding there, but it's just a common. Bill Madlock. Another Ty Cobb card Fred Lynn last pack for Michael F let's see if you can find the Sandberg or Boggs Terry Francona Jim Palmer Randy Johnson that's not the Randy Johnson you guys all know and Mike Marshall so thank you Michael F for participating Sorry you didn't find one of the uh, rookies. And here's our last one of the night going to Jacob R. So let's get right to it. Jacob R. Bottom right stack. We're on a hunt for Wade Boggs. Tony Gwynn has really showed up. Lee Smith, second year card. That's a nice one. Dave Steeb. Tony Gwynn has showed up four times. John Watson five times. Ryan Sandberg one time. Nolan Ryan once, Kyle Ripken twice, Kurt Gibson, I think that's at least two times for him. Um, let's see, Reggie Jackson, I think that's two or three appearances for Reggie. Four packs left on the night. Ed Lynch, Bob Walk again for the second time, Joe Torrey for the second time. Jim Cott, I think that's like three times. Reggie Jackson again. Gaylord Perry again. Man, we just cannot find the box. Tom Lawless, Mr. Crazy Bat Flip Dude. Got to check out his bat flip from the uh, 87 playoffs if you haven't already. Raleigh Fingers. Mm, no bogs or Sandberg. Two packs left. Willie Wilson's on the top. Terry Francona, Jim Palmer. Uh, this is kind of a redo of some of the other packs. Now we're down to our very last pack of the night. Looking for Wade Boggs or Ryan Sandberg. Heck, we'll even take another Tony Gwynn. All right, Willie McGee. A Willie McGee rookie card is our consolation prize with a Dale Murphy. Sparky Anderson. Chet Lemon. And... We did not find the Wade Boggs. So we did find four Tony Gwynn rookie cards, which was really nice. One Ryan Sandberg rookie card and uh, five John Wathens and a bunch of Hall of Famers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the uh, thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I do old boxes every Thursday. This is part of the Throwback Thursday series. 
Uh, just leave some comments down below. Tell me what you want me to open next week, and I'll take those into consideration. I hope you have a great rest of your night, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.